In this video, we are discussing accuracy improvement. We shall be discussing on bagging and boosting these two methods. We shall be defining bagging and boosting. We shall discuss about the relative advantages and disadvantages. Now, at first we are discussing the term that is the tree ensembles. So, ensemble is a machine learning concept in which the multiple models are trained using the same learning algorithm and bagging is a way to decrease the variance in the prediction by generating additional data for training from data set using combinations with repetitions to produce multi sets of the original data and on the other hand if you consider the boosting so boosting is an uh, iterative technique which adjusts the weight of an observation and based on the classed classifications so that is the basic theme behind this bagging and boosting and what is the ensembles you know that in the orchestra there are so many instruments are getting played so uh, can you listen the violin separately can you listen uh, to the contribution from piano separately no so what you are getting you are getting the total ultimate effect and that is known as the ensemble so ensembles are the machine learning methods for combining predictions from multiple separate models and there are a few different methods for ensembling but the most two common and most usable methods are bagging and boosting so let us give more emphasis on the bagging at first as i told you earlier also that bagging is a way to decrease the variance in the prediction by generating additional data for training from data set using combinations with repetitions to produce multi sets of the original data and bagging attempts to reduce the chance of overfitting we know that what is the overfitting the model is getting trained properly but whenever it is given with the unseen uh, data for the forecasting it is doing the forecasting very poorly and that is known as the overfitting so it trains a large number of strong learners what is a strong learner a strong learner is a model that will be having relatively less constraint or unconstrained that means we'll be having a less number of constraints for splitting for how many depths how much depth will be moving into into the decision tree and so on so we'll be having a tree which is we will be having a model where the less constraints will be assigned and bagging then combines all the strong learners together in order to smooth out their respective predictions so in this way we're having one ensembled flavor so number of trees are constructed on subsets of given data and majority voting is taken from these trees to classify a test sample and that is the main issue for these baggings now what is the book boosting so boosting attempts to improve the predictive flexibility of simple models so here the models are little bit simple and they are the weak learners they are to some extent constrained it trains a large number of weak learners in sequence a weak learner is a is a constraint model as example we can consider the maximum depth of each decision tree the splitting criteria so it will be a constraint and they will be known as weak learners each one in the sequence focuses on the learning from mistakes of one before it and boosting then combines all these weak learners into a single strong learner which will hope that it will make us a very strong predictive model and attaching weights that is the importances to the training samples and optimizing the weights during the training and further using these weights to classify the test sample so all the feature variables may not have the same importance score so we'll be assigning some weightages more on some input variables uh, on the onto the training data set and some input variables will be having the lesser weightages and this weightage whatever you shall be calculating will be optimizing will be used onto the test sample also and the main advantage of boosting is that it avoids outliers so this is the accuracy improvement uh, concept uh, using this begging and boosting thanks for watching this video